Excuse me. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C., 1950, um, and went to the public schools uh, and uh, grew up reading uh, comic books. Um, there were funny books in Washington. Um, and uh, until about, well, until 1964, the summer, um, I really never read anything but comic books and uh, went to the library and you would get like fairy tales and things, folk tales, and they would always be illustrated with a picture. So that was my reading. Uh, there was television, but I was still a whole lot of reading in addition to television. So in 64, I was visiting uh, my aunt and my cousins in South Boston, Virginia. I ran out of, didn't have any, any funny books. And my cousin, who was married and expecting her first child, her husband um, was sort of a scrap guy. He would go to the dump and get a lot of stuff. And it so happened one of the things he got was uh, this 1930s British mystery, Who Killed Stella Pomeroy? Uh, and that was the first book I'd ever read. Uh, I was 13 and rather surprised that I could um, create my own pictures because I had always gone by what you, you know, someone else's drawings and everything. Um, I went back and uh, sort of returned to, uh, to funny books, but the next summer I was visiting another aunt in Brooklyn. And she had native son and uh, his eyes on a sparrow and the autobiography of Ethel Ward as the actress. And so I was getting deeper and deeper into this thing because uh, unlike with the, uh, the mystery of the previous summer, you know, this was, um, these are black people that I knew, even though I was in Chicago and Waters was growing up, I think, in the Midwest. You know, these are people living lives that I knew about based on things in Washington as well as what grown-ups who had been born in the, in the South and came to Washington were telling me about their lives back then. Um, I think somewhere along there, it might have been maybe not that year, but maybe the next year I entered um, high school. And I was getting sort of further and further away from comics, although I was still reading them. And then um, this 10th grade uh, English teacher, uh, I think the first book she gave us was Black Boy. And it was sort of the beginning of the end in terms of the comic books and all of that. Um, and I got more and more in, into reading just regular books. And uh, the strange thing is that um, Black Boy uh, <laughs> came in, there was a company called Signet. They had red borders, nice, nice paperbacks. And um, I ordered some from the back. There's a little form there. One, Gold Tattle on the Mountain was one of them. And I would go to a bookstore, and I would never, because when I entered this, this Trover bookstore on 11th Street, there were cards and everything, which I wasn't interested in. But there were, um, the first books were the Signet ones, as well as another division of Signet that had classics, like Studs Lonigan. And that's all I did. For, for about a month, of a year or so, that's all I would, I would get. Uh, I'm not sure why it is, but then one day I decided to sort of venture a little further down, a few feet beyond the signet ones, and there was Dell and all the others. And uh, before you know it, I was reading just about everybody that I could get my hands on. And then I went to college, and I think it was the second, I think the second year, um, I took a creative writing course um, from uh, Maurice Durage. And, uh, that was the first um, exposure to uh, someone saying that, you know, that maybe um, there was something there. Um, then and, and later, I never really was one to get up every single day and write. Um, so I left college, and uh, my intention actually was to go into journalism school. But my mother took ill, and so um, I stayed around to take care of her. And. Um, I still was never one to get up and write every single day. I thought, I think about it, you know. The thinking part of it is important. And I've come to realize, especially with the known world, that the thinking is almost as important as the writing, you know, because I'm the kind of person, I don't want to sit down there and, and think about what should come next. I want to be able to know what should come next, even though there might be a struggle with getting it down um, on, the, on the computer screen. 